ain't gonna say that, uh, like, cause it was good. You know, I enjoyed working with Pharrell. That was probably the best, you know, time I ever had making an album. It was just more about they had changed the whole label. Everybody at my, who signed me, you know, not on Star Trek, but Geffen Records, my A and R, all them changed. They got fired, and I like the whole staff got fired, and they switched it up, and they had me in an uncomfortable area with new people who didn't, even, you know, have the same passion. Yeah, ain't had the same passion for my music or my movement, so. That's all it was, though. Outside of that, everything was good over there. And I would do a deal directly to a label. I just don't want to sign no other rappers like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I ain't going to say that. If it made sense, I would do it. It would make, If it made sense, I would do it. But I don't think people understand. I'm happy. Like, I'm really, like, I'm making money off of this music. Like, I'm, how, what, better, what better way to do it when you own everything and you do your own thing by yourself, you're in control or whatever you want to do, your destination, you say whatever you want to say, you do it however you want to do it. But I really, mainly, my think the whole thing behind that, I just want to, myself, I don't want you to have to, I don't want to have to be with no other artist. I don't need nobody to co-sign me. You know, I want somebody to pick up my music because they want a Slim Thug song. They want to hear some text from me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to buy mine because I'm, you know, signed to somebody else or something like that, you know. So. But that's helped a lot of people out. Let's yes. be honest. A lot, a lot of artists, Juicy they, J. they, they, they are huge them. because they signed with these other labels, you know what right. I'm saying? I ain't gonna, you know what, I ain't gonna count it out, man. If somebody came to me and it made sense, then, you know, I probably would do it, but, you know. I, I think know. you've been a boss for too long now. I think so. I think that I've been, that's how I feel You're about You're spoiled it. at this point. That's how you I feel You spoiled about yourself. It. That's how you already about. got a Bentley. They can't get you another. They can't entice you. Say, what if we get you this? You know, we gonna get Man, you to sign and give you a Bentley. They can't do that. See, because that's what. See, I know how to look at it. You know, you know, other artists look at it like you know. Okay, this the chick now. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't with the chicks now. I want the chicks later. I'm boss of our bosses is paying probably all my bills. Mm. That album alone. That's because I own the masters. Mm. If I go give it to somebody else, then you know, when that late, when that deal done. They still got the masters and it's gonna be paying their bills. You know what I'm saying? So that's mm. how I look at it, man. I'm building my catalog out of my catalog alone. Even the underground music, I'm still eating off of that. You right. know, so it's like I'm just I'm cool. I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no. You know, I'm good. I'm happy with where I'm at. I just wish that I had a more organized company and can get the people the music everywhere. Where they but you should. Play. You got the money to get a staff. But at get the same time, I do got a staff. I'm working on that, but I don't want to go too crazy and spend too much. <laughs> I have, I'm in the red. Yeah. You know, I got to keep it Slim, in the you, green. Slim, you're going to have to hire you a couple of people. You got the staff. Be, remember the girl you just said, man, who was that? Call what, everybody. What's her name? We working on that. We got people calling. But you keep saying you she working on it. Now the girl was good. She, she I'm was like, good. First of she all, was she called my number. Tracy. First yeah. of all, that was the first time we've I have ever been asked to be at an event. First time hand. I ever did that. Okay, because right. I'm like I'm like I'm like, going I'm because he asked me. <laughs> right, he right, had to right. call me. He said, "You going?" I like, man, Slim don't never ask. Yeah, I and the girl called me back. She uh, said, "You ain't R S R whatever it's called R V what is R S V D that right there." You said, she said, "You didn't do that yet." I said, "I'm good." Yeah, and I, you know, I said my word is good. I said I probably went. I'm not gonna probably go through all that, but I said I'm gonna yeah. be there. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. Slim ain't. He don't never go out his way to ask us to, unless it's important. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's <laughs> obviously important if they, you know, them got the people to call us up. And say, I'm, gonna be there. I'm trying to get right, man. I ain't never had no publicists or nothing like that, man. It's always just been, and I, I think a lot of that got to do with, man. I'm just. I, I don't know, cheap. I'm still stuck. It ain't even about being cheap. I'm stuck in the street mode, man. I don't even like the attention of... I don't like asking nobody for nothing. I don't owe nobody nothing. I don't ask nobody for nothing. And I, I love to say that, man. I don't owe nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I hate the... Hey, man, y'all got something... I know y'all got to go home to y'all kids, but come over here and stop out here and check out this. I don't know. I just don't like doing that, man. So, but they no, tried. But it was business. That was it business, is. man. It you, is. I got to learn. You, you I'm you learning won't, that. You won't, yeah, I mean, here you're releasing an album and a DVD. Right. You interviewed all these people. It, right. It, it's, it's, it would be nice for them to be. Right. Obviously, it was important for you to ask them to be on the DVD. Right. It should be just as important for us to have wanted to participate. And then it made me feel exactly. cool. I, I like Slim. I participate. Well, I feel like I would participate. I. I a true participant in your life yeah. ever since you was a high school kid. Oh, yeah. right. I, I remember like, sitting there with, like that. you know, I remember sitting there saying, hey, Slim, I see you buying all these lacks and stuff. Yeah. I, you remember that at the I club? All that. This I kid is 18, that. already driving the lake. I'm like, hey, man, you might want to slow down a bit. Slim Thug being Slim Thug, I hear you, OG, but I ain't there with you at yet. When I get there, though, I ain't going to, but you still balling right. out of control. You ain't stopped yet. I don't ball out of control. I ball, ball in still. control. Yeah, there you go. You do ball in control. I'm going to give you that one right there. That's another thing. That's a lie right there. You ball in thing, control. Another 
Another thing about it is a lot of guys want to hop to the top. Everything I got is years and years of me trading in and upgrading. Like, I got a drop here, but I probably started with a, a, a Porsche or something. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about, man, building, building. It ain't about hopping to the top and trying to have everything at once. You know, grind, enjoy the grind to the top, take it uh, a level up every year. You know what I'm saying? What I love about you the most, Lynn, you've always been the same. You've never changed. Uh, and that's what makes you enduring for me. That was what makes me want to support this guy. And, you know, it's kind of it's kind of cool because you watch this. Literally, I watched this kid become a man. And it's fun just to watch the process of the way you change, but you still stay slim thug. And I appreciate that, man. I just think appreciate it's I just think that, it's man. great, man. I I, I love it's the hard. businessman that you've become, man. Yeah, it man, is. It's hard to be independent too, man. And, and but you've you know, done it. With no type of support from, you know, no major labels or nothing, but you know, I, I think it's it's all in the art of hustling. But you know what? You don't even need down. that because you got the support of the city. You one of the few artists that really has that's the love. support of the city. And that's I mean why people I keep love ready. you, man. Because you support right. other people too, and, and yeah. they, and they yeah. love you, and they love you out of town. Shoot, when I wear that boss life, give the tenders be coming out the woodwork hey. up in there. <laughs> man, hey. me and Mac was boss in L.A. Ooh wee, ooh wee, <laughs> <laughs> ooh -wee. man. Yeah, he ain't had to say a lot. The shirt was doing all the Boy. talking. Boy, are yeah. oh, you with Slim Thug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some girl asked me if he was Slim Thug. Oh, I had when I had the <laughs> oh, yeah when I had them shades on. I had the hat on and the shades, and so I'm walking through the hallway of the hotel and everything. Girls like, yeah, you Slim Thug, you Slim Thug. I'm just laughing. Is she fine for it? Yeah. I know, I know you <laughs> never hey. said that you were Slim Thug. Hey. Y'all hey. know hey. that part. Hey, I'm about to tell him. I'm about to tell him. And then the girl was like, ooh, we. I said if I ever ran up on Slim Thug, I was gonna jump his bones. I was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Part one, it'll be a series of one, two, three, four, four different parts. So I'm sure that'll be DVD and album to go along with that. If you want to autograph, Slim said you can hit this bosslifeworld.com and get it from there, as opposed to the iTunes and the other places you can get the album, just the album, no DVD with it. He'll do an autograph for you, which right. I think is real cool. And plus, you're going to hit other spots throughout the day uh, and do it old school style, sell them straight out the trunk. Yeah, shout out Young Sam. He put the documentary together, you know what I'm saying? And he, we shot a few videos together. He's he up and coming um, director. If you don't know him, get at him. Tight. Yeah, he dope. Man. He make movies, though, you know what I'm saying? And uh, also, Gavin and B. Dunn, producers of the whole CD, man. You know, we just trying to keep that Texas thing going. It's that OG Texas music, man. Shout out to all the young artists who killing it. Sauce, you know, Propane, B. King. Everybody, man, let's get it, H-Town, let's get it. They say, uh, my homeboy from Live Mixtape said we number two, you know, as the most checked out city. I think we are uh, a few days away from being, you know, like we was in 04, blowing up. So come on with it, man, grind. Now, one more thing, Slim. Um, there's a rumor going around that you got a game uh, that people will be able to... I ain't even say nothing about I ain't even trying to sell them that. I'm trying to keep fucking on the album. But, but hey, it's listen. really cool. The game hey, is cool. The, the, it's a new iPhone game. It'll be out soon, man. And it's the dopest game. You're going to be able to pick either the drop lag, the drop head, or the phantom. And you're going to be riding around Houston, Miami, or L.A., and the object of the game is to pick up girls <laughs> in the mix of uh, how many girls you can put in your car, you know, with haters in the way. You got police chasing you, you got people, you know, potholes, everything, you know. They trying to stay in the play away, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, the game, see how many you can get. I know my boy JQ going to be a master. Well, I'm going to be right there on it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be that car up with them till this day. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, let us know when the game come out, man, officially. Actually, man, this was like... Art of Hustling. This is actually my homeboy uh, just hit me about two weeks ago and just sent me this. And I'm just so excited about it, man. I ain't even tell nobody yet, <laughs> you know, but 979 about to get the exclusive, exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Exclusive. So, but um, uh, it should be out in the next, by this month. I'm going to have it out by the end of the month, for sure. All right. By Thugger Day. Now, what is it going to be called? What's the game? Uh, roll Like a Boss. Roll Like a Boss. Roll <laughs> Like a Boss right now. That's what it is. And today you can roll with the boss, Hog Life Part 1. Um, I guess if they follow you on Instagram or Twitter, they'll know where you be at. My Instagram is Hog Life 101. My Twitter is Slim Thugger. Yeah, man, and I'm going to post where I'm at. You know, come out. We're going to take pictures. I'm going to sign it for you, everything. All right.